Amongst my favorite epic sagas would be Onirok vs Roadhog. The two of them have gone to heads before, but this time it is in the wake of hefty allegations and a brutal aftermath fitting for the big screen. I must first take us back roughly one week's time when a woman named Julie appears seemingly out of nowhere. With her comes some hefty allegations against the husband to Catherine Joy, Todd. My balls are made of crystal Polson. The woman had been communicating with Roadhog, alleging that she had a story of Todd sexually harassing her. Roadhog made mention of this several times in streams, and finally revealed the big video on 11 of October. There was immediate outrage amongst viewers from all sides of the Catherine Joyce fear. Julie alleged that Todd made sexual advances towards her, many times, but claims she deleted all evidence of the interactions. Throughout her story, which was mostly a string of her opinions based around timelines of Catherine Joy drama that we were all already aware of. I do think that had he been allowed to go back to work, I think things would have gone back to normal. You know, he would have got his balls back. <laughs> he got his balls back. I, you I know, I mean, and you, I know you that... you told your husband about this stuff, so I mean... Oh, that God, was, that was yeah. horrible. That Because oh, my husband's like, why the hell didn't you come to me and tell me about this shit before? That is an ace fucking question. Never fear, there is much more. Well, I feel bad, Jim, but I, uh -huh. I, I agree. I agree. I, yeah, I, I've seen but there was some flirting there, <laughs> you know... There was some, it was starting, yeah. and that's how he started with me. A little bit of flirting, then a little bit of, then a little bit of, let's go, you know, do this. Ugh. But now I must admit, I myself am quite skeptical. And it would not be due to the very damning fact she has no receipts. For myself and my cat senses, it has much more to do with her reasonings behind allegedly turning down the advances, most of which have to do with money, race, and a host of other very shallow and questionable excuses. Ugh. But, at, you at know. At no time did you ever say yes or anything like that? No. Nope. Jeremy, I've been married 25 years. I've got three kids, two angels, two grandkids, and had no this need is. For toddy. <laughs> you just none. To, you just wanted to do some artwork. That was it. Yeah, that's it. That's all I want. Then why entertain this fuckery to start? Roadhog, mate. This was not a grand idea at all. Wanted, and the first stuff he did was very pretty, and so I was like, right. "Wow!" Yeah. You know, my son got his skydiving instructor license, and I wanted something special that you couldn't really yeah. just go to the store and buy. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I thought, "Well, I'll go to him," but Katie made that clear that that wasn't going to happen. <laughs> um, but you know, and I, I will offer my opinions at the finale of this production. I don't care about that. Oh. But I feel like this. I feel like Todd is taking advantage of her female subscribers. So basically his position and, and her YouTube and all that. Yeah. And I think it's only going to get worse now that he has Todd's takes. My apologies. I tend to believe Todd is not even allowed to have a good fap without Catherine's permission. Something smells quite terrible. Shortly after the video uploaded a host of the Catherine Joy truthers took to Twitter and YouTube to express their feelings. Amongst them some of the heavy hitters of the community such as E. K. C. People Suck and Suzanne Tikamaya. Some went as far as to find the woman's social media to disprove her claims allegedly that her own mother lived right down the road from the Polson home. This being, due to the fact that her mother actually passed 17 years prior and she has no relation to her biological father so it could not be a stepmother she was referring to. As the days have passed the situation has only gotten more heated, causing a wedge in an already fragile community. But the most devastating part of all of it would be that Roadhog has become the target of much scrutiny for allowing the story on his platform. He has fired back stating that he stands by the video because he made it clear that it was all alleged and he has been told to always believe the victim. Fair enough. Well things got much more interesting over the past 24 hours. Unirock picked up the story, and allegedly also accused Roadhog of threatening him and his- 
I've never threatened that punk bitch's life, nor would I, because he's not worth it. He is a young, dumb-ass Zoomer that does not affect me one bit. I talk shit about him. During this time a slew of streams popped up, across YouTube. T-Spiracy first went online and ended up interviewing Julie. T-Spiracy held no punches and made it quite clear that there are far too many holes in the story. Julie doubled down and threw the blame onto Roadhog accusing him of being the one to set the narrative for sexual harassment. Like, why didn't she stop communication with Todd? Why didn't she stop communication with Todd? It's because when I started watching Katie about, I don't know, two and a half, three years ago, whatever, when she still had the purple hair in the microphone, um, she kind of like moderators started coming around and, and she literally said, you cannot block a mod. This is quite literally at least the third version of this reasoning you have given Julie. I'm not here to talk about how Todd treated her. What, what I don't care about that. I'm here to ha give you an opportunity to come up here. You're like talking about all kinds of like your son skydive, all this irrelevant stuff, right? Do you understand why I'm having a hard time believing you? That's what I want to talk about. This is absolute gold. Like I requested, um, you know, Instagram. I requested all my um, messages. Um, you know, I did all that stuff. But of course, that doesn't come in a minute or a day. But I mean, so, hold it's. So hold on. Okay. All of your accounts were here before the interview, right? And then you got rid of them right after the interview, right? Yes. I don't know why, you know, it's okay for you guys to get things from Katie and be like, oh my God, look at what Katie's doing today. And then. Skirt! You can hold on a second. Let me tell you why. Katie puts it out there. We grab up the information and we go, hey, look what Katie did. Here's the evidence. Here's the proof. Here's the screenshot. Here's the video. You're legit out of left field making really strong accusations with nothing but regurgitated stories. Every saga has a hero. Well, first of all, I never said he sexually harassed me. That's what Roadhog chose to classify it as. Ever. During this excellent interview, Roadhog comes to the realization but he has been duped by this woman. We see his reaction in real time, and then she ultimately ends up on his stream with yet another twisted version of her own behavior. Well, first of all, I never said he sexually harassed me. That's what Roadhog chose to classify it as. Ever. I said he made a few inappropriate statements, and that's what he did. And... So the reason I blocked you is because I know you were scheming to look. Do you hear that there? He may sometimes be an impossible ass, but his wife is simply darling. For okay. My, um, yeah. What I changed right. my names to. Wow. So, I mean, it to me, it's just, it's like. This whole thing apart. And that's what they've been doing. They've been tearing the whole thing apart, which is exactly what probably 99% of people would do. And I'm sure they would. You know, I'm I'm gonna... I tend to feel quite bummed for Old Hog. It is my belief that while some of his intentions may have been driven by a disdain for Catherine Joy, he is quite new at conducting such an interview. And it appears that this woman is going to let he and his channel take the fall for her quickly unwinding tale of harassment. Never given a voice. Mm -hmm. not, that, not that Todd did any of that. Right. Not that, you know... We never even met in person, like never, mm -hmm. ever. Like, I don't even know what he, he looks like in person, except for, you know, on YouTube when you see him running by. But right. I did not, would not flirt with him. First of all, um, my lifestyle, he couldn't afford. Mm -hmm. um, my husband affords us all the best of the And what the fuck does this have to do with how you measure your faithfulness toward your partner? And here, dear viewers, is where I take issues. I implore you to watch the many videos on this topic. Each time this woman is interviewed her story changes. Aside from the hefty allegations, 
Her reasoning for not flirting with Todd has always been because her husband is far superior. Which would lead me to question why her decision not to partake would be due to her marriage being intact in the first place. What I find more concerning is this screen grab of an email between she and Roadhog. Here she discusses being an active student in a profession that would be quite physically taxing. He had in other interviews this last week she has proclaimed cancer, M. S., and an entire slew of other, reasons that she is so entirely ill that she cannot even manage to recall the recent past let alone leave her home very often. I shall continue to sit by and watch this unfold. My dear viewers, proceed with caution irregardless of which side of the fence you fall on in this unique situation. I may cover this story more so as information becomes available. Thank you for watching my video. Please, like and subscribe to my channel. This cat is always prowling.